asking for military intervention. Russia violated all our legal system, all international laws, all possible international laws. They just want to take us by force and control. Don't don't please prevent the new genocide of Ukrainians here. And the only way how you can do this, only by force. You know, I never wanted anyone to kill anyone. I am the most peaceful person in the world, and Ukrainians are. But they are just coming and they are just killing us. So please stop them. Please come and save us. All right. Uh, that woman has become sort of like an international rock star. Uh, she, of course, uh, holed up in a, a shelter right now. Uh, in Ukraine uh, with her three children, and she's fighting the good fight and says that the Ukrainians will never give up that fight. Joining me right now is our former U.N. ambassador, former director of national intelligence, so, so much more, John Negroponte. Uh, ambassador, good to have you. The fight of the Ukrainian people is not in doubt here, that's for sure. Uh, but I'm wondering, the more they show it and the more frustrated Vladimir Putin gets, what next? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for having me on your show, Neil. Yeah, I, I mean, I wonder the next thing, because Putin having the kind of personality he does, it uh, makes me wonder whether he's just going to throw more at it. The more resistance he gets, uh, the more he'll throw at it. And of course, in the end, Russia's a larger, more powerful country, got uh, a much stronger and bigger military, and uh, ultimately even has nuclear weapons. Uh, not that uh, those are necessarily uh, going to be contemplated by Mr. Putin, although he's made some, uh, you know, unfortunate gestures, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think there's a big risk out there that ultimately uh, Putin is going to just inflict, seek to inflict as much punishment as he can on the country of Ukraine. But that's not to say that we haven't done a lot to help. I, I think uh, both in terms of military assistance, I think the response of Europe is uh, really heartening and encouraging. Uh, you've seen a turnaround in a number of different countries like Germany, uh, now willing to export uh, uh, lethal right. weapons to uh, another country and things like that. And, and of course, we have said to that point, to that point, sir, I'm sorry to jump on you because I'm glad you mentioned no, no. it because Vladimir Putin responded to that. He was stunned at Germany d deciding to do that, especially now Germany breaks a long record of trying to avoid just this sort of thing. Uh, but he said that uh, if, if those get in here, you use them. I'm paraphrasing, you know, watch out. Well, what can he do? <laughs> सपना देखाया पिया हमका रात सपना देखाया पिया हमका न हम रंग ने